Hello and welcome to the 36 tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to detect touches that have moved. This tutorial assumed you've done tutorial 34. If you haven't there will be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there will be a link in the description to the source code produced from this project. So let's just open up the code from tutorial 34. Okay, once your project has loaded, you want to go to myapp.js. After the init function, you want to put another function. It's a built in function. It's called on touches moved colon function open bracket takes two parameters one is touch, one is event. Okay, it braces and then there we're going to do cc.log open bracket punctuation mark. And here we're just simply going to put multi touch moved there we go put a comma at the end here sort at the formatting before we run it click play once the simulator load when I click and drag what will happen in the log uh, there will be a printout of multi-touch moved As you can see, I'm clicking it, but I'm not moving it, so it isn't detecting the touch. But when I click and drag, it is actually detecting the touch. And that's it. That's all this tutorial is. What could this be useful for? If you've ever played a game called Flight Control or something similar, you drag the actual whole purpose of the game is you're supposed to control the flight of different um, aeroplanes, etc. Need to prevent them from hitting each other so you can use the on touching moved when some sort of touch has moved create a path based on the coordinates on each of the touch or each per time it moved so that could be one use perhaps you might do it on some sort of dragging system for example some sort of angry bell system but those are just a couple of examples you can be more imaginative and try and create your own style of games but that's it that's all you need to do to actually detect when a touch has moved Thanks for watching. In the next tutorial, we'll be actually looking at the on touches move function a little further, but we'll be actually getting the X and the Y coordinates and just printing them out as well. Thanks for watching.